All right, Scott in Tulsa, of course. Todd Graham used to coach prior to Pittsburgh, head coach at Arizona State in his third job in three years after leaving the Panthers after just one season. And Arizona State has the ball back with Taylor Kelly and flags fly. Full start, number 72 of the offense. Five-yard penalty, still first down. Guys, we talked about the improvement in penalties for Arizona State. That's their fourth. They average just over four per game this year. They haven't given up a lot of yards and penalties as they have in the past. Do you sense, as I said before, the, before we went to check in with Scott in the studio, do you sense Arizona State could be peaking at Oregon next week, or is this just a result of Colorado playing well? I think it's just a result of Colorado playing well. It's too hard to tell right now, too early. Taylor Kelly on the scramble. He had a run of longer than 20 yards earlier. He gets some of that lost yardage back and about three more after the penalty will be second down. I will say this, guys. Colorado's offense is their defense's best friend right now. We talked about them running more plays than Arizona State in the first quarter. That last scoring drive took eight plays. Right now, this defense is fresh. Second and seven. You have to Marshall, and Marshall is snowed under. First man to hit him was Doug Rippey coming back from a knee injury, and Derek Webb was there to help him. It's good to see Doug Rippey back on the field, coming off of an ACL injury. He was their best player before he suffered that injury last season. He's a big linebacker with instincts making a play. And Taylor Kelly running that little dive option, read option. He's got to be a better job. See, Rippey comes straight in there free. He's got to read off of him and keep the, keep the ball as a quarterback. Well, Rippey up. tweaked his other knee, which caused him to miss the last three games. They need his leadership back in the defense. The defense has played well thus far. Pressure coming against Kelly, and he handles it beautifully. Marion Grice has it again, and Grice getting up close to midfield. Another big play, throwing the ball to a back out of the backfield, and Arizona State has a big one. It's the third time tonight you'll see Marion Grice in the backfield just running an option out. They're trying to blitz Doug Rippey, but no one's home to pick up the running back out of the back. Well, that's just too easy. Doug Rippey was supposed to be home. That's his man. He's got to stay with him and not go after the quarterback. Kelly on the roll. Firing complete. Making the grab is Richard Smith, the freshman from Long Beach. Doug Rippey was the best player on Colorado before he had that injury. And to prove that, he only played in two and a half conference games last year, guys. The coaches still put him on the honorable all mention for all Pac-12. That's how good he is. They need him to play well tonight. You have to make better decisions. Coach is going to watch him closely, too, to see how much stamina he has coming off those knee injuries. In second, he's short. Kelly wants it all. Firing, and he was looking for Smith again. This time he couldn't find him. It'll be third down. Well, that's a great job. When you think about this offense, Kelly's a good thrower. He's not a great downfield thrower. He wants to dink and dunk. That's why you don't want Rippey to give him those easy completions over the middle like he did. Force him to throw the ball down the field. Only bring three, drop eight. It's a good recipe for Colorado. All right, now, if you're Colorado defensively, make sure you understand where this player right there is. That's the running back. That's the guy that's been killing you all game so far. And there's Marion Grice in the backfield. Kelly, can run for it if he hurries. He gets across the 40, he'll pick up the first down. Did you say make sure where number 10 is? <laughs> <laughs> kind of touched him on the circle. Guys, we talked about earlier. Taylor Kelly's not the greatest athlete in the world, but he can do enough to hurt you in prolonged drives. We talked about growing up being a big Jake Plummer fan. Well, that's what Jake Plummer used to always do as a quarterback. Scramble, find first down. Kelly just found one. Keep the Sun Devils drive alive. No read option. Kelly keeps it. Spinning and dancing down inside the 35-yard line. Pickup of about five and a half. And watch what this play becomes. You talk about the triple option in college football. That's basically what this becomes. You see the running back come right up. There's one option. Quarterback run, or he can pitch it to Jamal Miles, number 32. A lot of options on a simple play right there. It makes the defense really have to be disciplined. Kelly has 47 of Arizona State's 120 yards rushing so far. Now with his arm up top, has a man out there. It's Foster! Did he hold it? He did. Touchdown, Arizona State. 34 yards on the scoring strike. 
Tremendous job by Taylor Kelly, understanding where his best matchup is. And what a catch by DJ Foster. Arizona State after missing the first, and they're all messed up after missing the first extra point. Arizona State. They ran a couple of guys off late. I'm not sure they had 11 left. That was a mess. Uh, what wasn't a mess was the throw from Taylor Kelly to DJ Foster. This is a tough catch for Foster here. Looks like he's trying to stumble, falling down, but he does a good job getting under that ball. Especially because that's a running back. Yeah. I mean, that's an extremely tough catch to make over your shoulder, mm. kind of losing your balance. Looks like he secured Sucks it. it in tight. Yeah. Yeah, this will be the angle I think we can see for sure. If he's he... got it in his body. Oh, yeah. Two hands. That's a catch. He's got yeah, two under, under he's two. He's sliding. Yeah, no problem at all. There. Well, That's a touchdown. Well, here, here's Taylor Kelly understanding where his best matchup is. Look, this is bump and run all the way across the board. And he's got his best X factor on offense in the slot running the corner route. That's exactly where you want to go if you're a quarterback against man-to-man. -man. Well, now another flag coming in. I think they're going to have a substitution infraction. Delay of game. A delay of game. Against the kicking team. The extra point will be now attempted from the eight-yard line. Okay, here's what a... happened. They lined up to go for two first, and they changed their mind, and the short snapper is the punter, Josh Hubner, and he was late getting onto the field. If you don't have anybody to snap it, that can certainly hurt your opportunity to make the kick. Your problem. Garut back in to kick it, and Garut, though he's had some problems with field goals, is now a perfect 25 of 25 in extra points. He did not try the first one. And Arizona State, after Taylor Kelly's second touchdown pass of the night, regains the lead 13-7 against Colorado. D.J. Foster, an explosive freshman, makes the big play here.